Hi, um, this is going out to the shock of God. And that's about all I can say about him. Uh, you did a video which basically you gave 15 questions for evolutionists or Darwinists. Claiming that um, you had no evidence that disproves um, evolution. No, you don't. You just have a video full of absolute and utter bullshit lies. You've just made stuff up as you go along. And, um, oh, quoting somebody like Philip Johnson, who's a fucking law professor. And, um, oh, if anybody doesn't know who Philip Johnson is, apparently he was the um, pretty much the father of intelligent design. And he's a law professor, has never got any degree in any shape or form for physics or biology or anything along them lines. And, uh, oh, he did get an honour for something little from a Biola University, which just happens to be a evangel evangelical Christian college. So I don't think his credentials really fucking hold up, do they? Um, you did a bit in the video where you mentioned about the fossil record lacking, you know, any evidence that there's no there's no transitional forms and that there should be millions and millions and millions of fossils. This is complete bollocks. It's absolute bollocks. And for you to even assume that you would know something about this is also bollocks. I think you must have taken the brain out and put it in a jar before you even recorded this video. Um, I believe it's actually taken from um, a book probably written by some proponents of intelligent design. But have a look at Wikipedia. Type in human fossils, human transitional forms, and you'll get a list of about 150 in about a minute. And that's not a comprehensive list. And if you check out on the actual possibility of um, fossilization, it turns out that fossilization is actually quite rare. The fact is that a fossil, when, a, when an organism dies, usually requires to be covered with a sediment very quickly indeed. Uh, there are a couple of exceptions to this rule. You can get desiccation and you can get freezing. But it's an extremely rare event. So there's not going to be many fossils. And Darwin himself said this, that any given organism is very unlikely to leave a fossil behind. So I don't know where you're getting your information from. Uh, probably from this, what is it, creation.com or whatever it is you keep fucking going on about. Which is a website just full of absolute drivel. It's drivel. And um, you, you go on about natural selection and mutations. Well, let me just explain. Okay, mutations are random. That's a fact. We don't dispute that. They are random. But natural selection is not. Natural selection is a part of science, unlike what, you know, contrary to what you've said in your, um, in your video. Basically, natural selection. Okay, all these mutations happen in nature. Any mutation which is advantageous to an organism will generally prevail. And there's a reason for this, because if it's advantageous, that organism will get more food, probably get more sex, you know, everything. So over time, that advantage will eventually take over and become the norm. So what the fuck you're on about, I have no idea. Um, <clears throat> and you can, you can even see this in, in what you call, what you term microevolution. Now, albeit the natural selection has been taken out and it's been replaced by, by selective breeding by man. Now, if you take, a, take dogs, for example, all dogs are descended from domesticated wolves. Over time, man will have bred together the less aggressive breeds or whatever breeds they whatever they wanted to do to achieve the breeds that we have today so therefore you've got a form of selection it's just not natural it's it's via selective breeding oh and by the way just for your information the domestication of the dog predates creation itself so i don't know where you get your information from it's just utter Bullshit.